At Highland Hole Farm we're installing a deer fence around one of our farms. This is our Lazalier farm on Ferry Road and Gordon Road. We're fencing in approximately one mile of deer fence. The deer fence will be eight foot tall with woven wire. We've had a lot of problems with deer on this farm so we're finally biting the bullet and just putting in a fence to keep the deer out. We're going to fence for the beginning part of this year three sides where the deer mostly enter the property. It won't be a complete fence around the property because we won't have time to get it all done by the time the deer start to rut. The, the deer rutting is when they rub our trees is the worst damage that these deer do to us. They do some browse damage but the, the rutting and rubbing of the trees is most problematic for us. In this video we're using an MT-52 and we also use our MT-55 to drill the post holes. We've marked out where the posts should go and we're dr slowly drilling down in. It takes a while to drill some of these because they hit some rocks. He's going to bust through the, the rocks here and uh, we'll, we'll be putting the posts in as we go. We're using cedar posts, locust posts, and pr pressure treated posts. The posts we're putting in are about 12 foot tall. We're putting them in the ground approximately 3 foot, 2.5 to 3 foot depending on where the hard pan is. This property we grow a lot of arborvitas and we also grow some hardwoods on them as well as some viburnums. We've over the years shot many deer on this farm but it's almost impossible for us to shoot the deer because they're nocturnal and they come out at night and do their damage then. And as you can see now the the auger is starting to get through the roots and the rocks and starting to actually go in the hole. Now what we'll do is we'll stop the auger and just pull it out slowly lifting it out of the ground and that way we can bring all the dirt out of the hole at the same time. And we'll We'll probably dig in a neighborhood of 20 holes a day and put posts in 20 holes a day. Uh, we have to clear out as we're going because there's a lot of places here where there's a lot of heavy brush and we're going through some some old hedgerows. We've found the property markers and we are putting the fence back a couple feet from the property lines and in some places a little further. And here it's lifting it out right now it slowly comes out and all the dirt comes with it to make a nice clean hole. He'll back it off a little bit then dump it off. And you can see the hole goes down pretty well. It's a nice round hole and the posts will fit in there nicely. This is the same loader that we use when we deliver and plant our trees. It's a very handy little loader. It's a walk behind MT-52 made by Bobcat. We bought this at Delaware Valley Bobcat in Warminster. We have three of them on the farm. And in the background you can see another loader. That's a Bobcat. That's a full-size Bobcat. That's like an 873 or something like that. Uh, we've marked where on the ground the posts were, will go. So that's already completely marked. And you can just barely see the, the guide wire there marking the uh, property line where we're putting the posts on. This soil here is a real nice digging soil. It's a clay soil. We like clay soils for our balls because they hold them together well instead of like a, a, a sand ball which can fall apart quickly. The clay balls actually transplant better, we think, than a, than a sand ball. They're a little bit heavier and they can hold a lot of water. Most of the trees that we dig and plant are for screening and buffering. This, this, this hole went in a lot easier. There wasn't as many rocks. The operator has an assistant. The assistant is pulling the dirt away so it doesn't mound up around the hole as they dig. And again, he lifts it right out and he'll be ready to go to the next hole. When we use this machine on your property, one of the advantages of this machine, it has so much surface area for the tracks that there's very little ground pressure. So as you can see, we haven't torn up the ground with this machine. We've torn the ground up 
previously with a big loader getting in there to clear the brush out. But this little MT-52, when it goes on your lawn when we plant trees, will not do very much damage to your lawn. And as you can see up the row there, we have quite a ways to go. And we're actually improving the property a lot here because we help, we'll have actually more usability. Getting rid of all the brush that was in here and along here has you know, been problematic because of other reasons as well, besides usability of the property. All this heavy brush acts as a haven for mi mice, rabbits, and groundhogs, which are also damaging our nursery stock. So whereas the fence won't keep them out, it's eliminating their habitat to a small degree and that's just as important it's interesting to watch them dig and see how these things go but at any rate if you would like to see more of our farm you're always welcome to come visit we do have hunting opportunities for hunters, as well as we do allow bird watchers to come out and to see the birds. You just have to sign into our office. We have many different farms in the Bucks County area where you can go and hunt or bird watch if you want. We also have one farm on 313, we call it our Stone Barn Nursery, where if you bring your metal detector, there is actually lead. It's in an area called near. Uh, Lake Galena, which Galena means lead, and uh, it was this, in this area there was mining years and years ago for lead for like the American Revolution. And you can, with your metal detector, you can you can find small bits of lead, you know, Galena around the the farm. Not a lot, but there is some. And so there you have it. Thank you for watching this video and now on to dove and turkey hunting at our farm. These are two doves sitting on a wagon at Highland Hill Farm. We have a lot of doves in our field. These are Norway spruces and we do allow hunting here for doves. And We're at 5275 West Swamp Road, Fountainville, PA, 18923. And they love to get on the little roadways. He just flew up onto the roadway. So give us a call. And we have lots of trees and shrubs here for you to come and see. And our hunting program for this year is if you want to hunt for the day, you bring us a 6 by 6 by 12 foot locust, cedar, or pressure treated fence post. If you get a deer, if you're deer hunting, you get three free days. If you get two deer in any part of the season, you get the rest of the season for free, and I pay you 25 US dollars. The only things we don't allow people to hunt here are foxes because they do a lot of good. They eat rabbits and mice, which, oh, there goes some more doves. Oh, they're coming over and they're, they too are landing on this. Hey, wagon. Two more on there.
Sportsmen love our green giant arborvitas because they grow fast. They're effective for making screens and buffers along roadways to keep people from poaching their deer. And they also form a great habitat tree for deer. Although the deer don't eat them, in a grove of green giant arborvita, the deer will find safety and comfort and bed down. The green giant grows upwards to three feet a year. It grows in many soil types from zone five up to about zone seven to eight. The green giant is known for growing up to three foot a year and can get 15 foot wide by 25 to 40 to 50 foot in height. It's an easy to plant tree. We have them in many sizes from small seedlings up to 20 to 22 foot trees and we do deliver and install throughout the east coast. We can ship seedlings and small transplants by UPS. So give us a call for these or to go hunting at Highland Hill Farm, 215-651-8329. Thank you.